As you know, I'm kind of on the tech pro, and today I'm going to be telling you about Time Leave. Uh, Time Leave is a template engine to handle uh, the views that is uh, at the client side or the HTML uh, pages that will display to the user. So uh, before now, I used uh, JSP. JSP is Java server pages, but there are some issues with JSP. For instance, um, it's not expressive. Well, what it means is that it's not pure HTML, so sometimes it might not actually be interpreted uh, correctly. But Timely is exactly HTML. You can embed uh, codes into the page and it's interpreted uh, correctly. It's very fast and also it's also very lightweight. <coughs> so let's set up Timely in our application and then we display a home page and gradually we start displaying our data into different pages. Uh, in using time leave. So we're actually building a user interface for our application. Before now we've been doing REST API, but now we want to do user interface. So let's set up time leave. The procedure is here in my website. If you look in the description box, you'll find the, the link to this page you see here. So you can use it and follow the procedure. If you miss out anything, feel free to let me know in the comment box below this video. So you can read up the benefits of, of time leave here. <coughs> So the first thing we want to do is to put the three dependencies that you need. To use time leave, you need the web dependency, not Spring Starter Web. This is Spring Web, and you have Spring Context, and you have Spring Boot Starter Time Leave. So these are the three dependencies you need. I'm going to just copy them out from here and paste them in the pom.xml file of our application. So I'm going to go to pom.xml. I'd also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe so that we can do this together. So I'm going to go to form.xml and I'm going to paste it and clean it up a bit. All right. So now this is the dependencies we need to work with time leave. Now there's something you also need about rendering of uh, HTML pages. Now, if you are working with REST APIs, we don't really need views. We need data in JSON format or XML. But now we are working with views or HTML pages. So it means that we need, instead of using REST APIs, uh, we are not using exactly REST APIs. It means that we should go back to the controller file. And we are going to tell the controller file that instead of serving a JSON object, you should send, you should serve or render a page. You should return a view, because normally a controller returns an object, which may be a list of items, a single object, or things like that. But now we don't want objects returned. We want views, a view to be returned. So let's see the next thing we are going to do. The next thing we are going to do is to set up the home page. So we have to create the HTML page to render uh, a data in the HTML page or to display to the user. Now, you need to know that the HTML page has to be placed in a particular directory in Spring Boot. So you don't just place it anywhere. So you need to place it inside the template folder of the SRC main, uh, SRC main resources. So you can see SRC main resources and you are going to place any HTML page, you are going to place it inside the template folder so that when the, the when the application runs, is going to the template engine is going to look into the this template folder to look for this file, look for the HTML pages. So just say new and just choose. Um, I think you can say other. Mm -hmm. So at this point, you just go HTML. Okay, so you can see HTML file. I'm going to select next. So now I like to name it. Uh, index as HTML, you can give it any name, but I recommend index because this is the landing page or the home page of the application. So I'm going to call it index as HTML and I'm going to say next and just say uh, finish. So let me just create a title uh, so that, so I'm going to say time leap tutorial. So again, I'm going to just copy this and paste in the body as well. All right, so we have the home page has been set up for us. Now, what next do we do? Remember that requests are handled by controllers, and that remains. The requests have to be handled by controller. 
for this time it has it doesn't have to be a rest controller it just have to be a controller rest controllers are for rest apis to return objects uh, and data but now we are going to use just controller so i'm going to add let me go down i'm going to add a, a home controller inside the com that's kind of the journey of the social package of course you can add it anywhere but i want to add it into into this package right here so i'm going to right click and say new and create a new file and i'm going to call it home controller it's always good to name the controller file uh the same similar name to the page to render so it's going to render the home page so that is why i'm going to call it home controller home controller and that is fine so now to use a controller uh, to, to be able to serve a page, we need to use co at controller mapping. So this time, not it's not it's not rest controller. It is at controller uh, at controller. So you get it. So not rest controller. That is one difference you need to know along the line. We are going to learn other changes. We are going to make this application to render on a page instead of to render uh, as a JSON object. So Control Shift for my keyboard. Um, the next thing is to let's now write a function to return um, to return the, the page or to to render the page. So we want the user to access the page at slash uh, value equal to slash home. We want the user to visit this place and assign the page in this URL. Um, so the function is going to be is going to be a string, okay? So um, let's call it welcome. So you can you can actually name it anything anything it doesn't matter. So it's simply that this function is going to run when the user visits slash home and simply return. Now you need to specify the name of the page you created as a string and close in double quotes. Keep in mind, don't give, don't don't say that HTML. <coughs> Just return the view like this. Index. So the template engine is going to understand that this index is the index page that is actually a .html page. All right. So let's correct this one. So hopefully everything is going to work. Uh, let's now run this application and we are going to visit slash home and let's see if it is going to give us what we want so let me just go ahead to click on launch um okay so let's see so it's coming up um let's try this a bit this way so you can see uh let's see okay tomcat started in port 8080 so it started Let's now go to assess the home page of this application. So let's see if it's going to work. So localhost for 8080 slash home. So you can see it works. Welcome to time leave. Time leave is very easy to use. So from now on, the next tutorial, we are going to now render the, the table of, of object of list of items. We are going to render it on a page. And that will be in the next tutorial. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. I'd like to thank you for viewing. If you have challenges, don't fail to leave me a comment because I'm going to respond to you. So we we'll see you in the next tutorial.